How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about some of the best free VPNs that you can use for your PC. Now, there are many free VPNs available for use on your PC, but it's important to note that free VPNs generally have fewer features and may not be as reliable as paid VPNs. And it's also important to carefully evaluate the features and limitations of free VPNs before using them. And in most cases, in fact, free VPNs may collect and sell user data or may not provide the level of security and privacy that paid VPNs offer. So it's generally a better idea to use a paid VPN service to ensure the best security and privacy protection. However, if you're looking for some of the best free VPNs out there, well, I've got a couple of options for you guys. First of all, we've got Proton VPN, and Proton VPN will have obviously some limitations, but the reason why I picked Proton and TunnelBear is because they don't collect user data and they have a very good no logs policy and it is also independently audited. So you can trust these VPNs with regards to your data. Now, the limitations that come with Proton VPN and TunnelBear is first of all, as you can tell with Proton VPN, you're only going to have access to three locations. But the cool thing about Proton VPN is that it still gives you access to the kill switch and you're able to use the VPN for well as much as you'd like on one device though uh, but there are no data caps or bandwidth limitations so you can keep using proton vpn as much as you'd like without having to worry about reaching a data cap but obviously the other limitation is going to be speed so the full speed is going to be reserved for the paid servers for the paying customers uh, so in terms of speed yeah you're not really going to be enjoying the fastest of speeds with proton vpn but it's understandable it's a free service and it's just meant for you to kind of use it to maintain your anonymity and security and encrypt your data and of course so that you don't have to compromise your data uh, if you can't pay for a vpn you can just secure your uh, device on public wi-fi now you can use tunnel bear if you're looking for more of a location variety however you're going to have a data cap of 1.5 gigabytes per month though you can get an extra gigabyte if you tweet about them i believe that is just a one-time thing uh so yeah this is going to be the limitation with tunnel bear obviously 1.5 gigabytes is way too little and is only enough for a few days of browsing now that will be it for the free vpns and these free servers or uh, tunnel bear specifically won't allow for unblocking streaming services or torrenting altogether and uh peer-to-peer -peer activities or torrenting and unblocking streaming services with proton vpn will be reserved for the paying customers now if you're looking for a good paid vpn this is where express nord and surfshark will come in now these are the top three vpns overall after having tested over a couple of dozen vpns about 30 30 VPNs. I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the top three VPNs. Now, they all vary in budgets and features, so you can choose depending on your own situation, what you're looking for out of your VPN, and your own preferences and specific needs and budget, of course. You've got Express with over 3,000 servers in 94 countries. You'll be able to secure up to five devices per subscription. With NordVPN, you've got over 5,400 servers in 59 countries, and you'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. And uh, with Surfshark, you've got over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, virtually an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription uh, so it's a great vpn if you want to share it with as many friends and family members as you would like now all of these vpns have a strict no locks policy a military grade encryption independently audited privacy policies and server infrastructures enough security features to keep your devices secure though you'll get the most features with nordvpn you're able to safely engage in peer-to-peer -peer activities and torrenting and you'll be able to bypass censorship firewalls and geo restrictions now expressvpn will have a more of a stronger emphasis on privacy and utmost anonymity nordvpn is more of a well-rounded option that gives you a whole bunch of bonus features that can kind of further secure your device uh, for a very reasonable price really so it's a lot of value for the money and you've got surfshark which will be the best budget vpn that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost 
without really sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you need to keep your devices secure. So at the end of the day, it all depends on your specific needs. But if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the privacy policy, speed, streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full reviews down below and you'll find links to pricing and discounts if you'd like to get straight to that. Uh, they're all covered by 30 day money back guarantee, though. So if you're not satisfied for whatever reason, you can just get that refund very easily. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.